Today we're going to be making Velcro dot craft sticks. This is a quick and easy fun craft project that you can have your kids join along with. It doesn't take long to make, keeps kids of all ages busy for hours, and it's educational as well. What you will need, I have several Velcro dots here. I have craft sticks or popsicle sticks. Now you can go with whatever size you choose. You can go with really large sticks. They have smaller, skinnier sticks. If you want to use colorful sticks, you can go with that. I'm just going with the natural wood stick. These are slightly larger than the normal size craft sticks. The craft sticks I'm using are about six inches long and maybe three quarters of an inch wide. You go with smaller or larger, just make sure the craft stick is large enough to hold your Velcro dot and the dot isn't hanging over the side. So just keep that in mind because this one, it just barely fits onto my craft stick. But it's gonna be perfect for the ones that I have. Another fun activity could be actually decorating the sticks prior to attaching the Velcro dots to them. So you have several craft projects in one. If you wanna get fun and creative, you can add in like googly eyes, you can paint them, add in feathers, beads, whatever you'd like. Just have fun with it and make it your own. The last thing you will need is a hot glue gun. Everything that I use for this video will be linked in the description box down below, so definitely check it out and get started creating your own fun imagination game. All right, let's get started. I'm going to take my craft sticks and just lie some of them out. And the Velcro dots, they are adhesive, so they have a sticky side on the back but I just honestly feel like if this is going to be something that kids are going to be playing with, you want a little more security than just a little stickiness on the back. So that's why I'm going to reinforce my Velcro dots with the hot glue gun. Just to make sure they're nice and secure and the kids can play around with them, pull them together, take them apart for hours without them coming loose. There are two sides to Velcro dots. You have the rough, the rough side, which is called the hook side. And then you have the soft side, which is kind of like the felt side this is the loop side so for each craft stick we're going to put all of the hooks on one side and all of the loops on the other side all right so this is going to be quick and easy pretty straightforward so we're going to just jump right into it i think i'm going to glue all of the hooks first and then come back and um, add in the loops again see it is sticky so it will stick to the craft stick but again, just keep in mind, it's gonna be roughed and pulled and tugged on several times. So if you don't wanna worry about these coming to loose, then I would suggest reinforcing it. All right. I'm just gonna put, all right, so I have a nice amount of glue and I'm just going to stick it on the edge and I'm just going to press it right, to make sure it's nice and secure. And I'm putting, I don't want to put it completely at the edge because I don't want it to start peeling off or anything like that. I'm going to get more hooks in place before I start adding my loops. <music> Applying pressure for a few seconds just to make sure it's nice and secure. This is what it's looking like so far. I have all of my hooks on. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the loops on so you can see what the full stick looks like. If you choose to do so, you can definitely put the Velcro on either side and make it more you know, detailed and intricate, but I like to go with just having the Velcro dots on the same side and just leaving it at that. But whatever you prefer. <music> So I've completed a few sticks. This is what it's looking like. So cute and simple. And you don't need much glue. So try not to put too much. 
but I mean it's hot glue so sometimes that's inevitable but if you get any excess glue around the sides you can just wipe it off before it dries and you will never tell the difference all right so I have all of my craft sticks here I decided to make 20 craft sticks I think that's a good start as you know kids get older you can add more to it or if you feel like they're kind of using them all pretty quickly then you can always add more so it's up to you you can start off with 50 or 60 depending on your kid and how old they are and how many they're going to use and how many kids are going to be playing you can even add different sizes just to kind of mix up like the structure of everything you can have the larger size you can have smaller size you can have the colorful ones you can have the solid wood dark wood light wood Again, a fun thing would be to have the kids kind of decorate them themselves. That's fun to paint on them or to color or to even add in like googly eyes or any type of fun feathers, anything cool like that, even stickers. So the possibilities are endless. This is just a fun game that's easy. I have so much fun doing so many different things. Making this is an activity coloring it is an activity and then putting it together building things new things is an activity in itself so endless imagination endless fun very inexpensive quick and easy to do and kids of all ages would love it so you could even say you can practice shapes put four sticks together like this and you have a cute little square then you can take that apart and say, oh, I don't want to practice shapes. I want to just make something fun, have fun and experiment with things, see what you can make, what you can do. That's the fun part of it. Kind of finding out what all you can do with just a few craft sticks and some Velcro dots. So that's always awesome. Again, it opens up a child's imagination. So that's never a bad thing. So you can say, oh, I made some mountains or you can kind of just like play with it like that whatever you'd like the possibilities are endless and then whenever you're done you can just take them apart you can even turn this into a fun little puzzle so if you kind of line up everything and you put words on it or numbers or even like line it up and paint a picture and then mix it up that makes a puzzle you can even put the alphabet on them and the kids can put them in order or numbers and you can play like connect the, connect the dots possibilities are endless everything that i use in this video today will be linked in the description box down below